Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on a TNT run plugin called Death Run. So this plugin is part of the minigames library, as are many other great minigames which I'll be covering for the next couple of weeks. So look forward to that. But without further ado, let's get into the plugin. So if we do forward slash dr, we will see all of the commands. So it's pretty easy to set up once you know how. Uh, there are so many different uh, commands that you can use to change the arena. So what we're going to do is use this as the arena here. So first of all, let's go ahead and go into our lobby uh, down below, which I made. Looks uh, pretty weird, but we're going, we're going to use it. So if we do dr set main lobby to begin with, followed by set lobby and the arena name. So you can call it whatever you want. Uh, we're going to call it A1, uh, which is a quite a short name. And once you've done that, we can start creating the arena. So first of all, we want to set the high bound. So this is the top of the arena. Players mustn't go above this point or they'll lose, uh, which is the same with the low bounds. So if we do force slash dr, set bounds, um, if I can type correctly, which I'm struggling to, and we can either choose to do the low bound or the high bound. So this is the high one, so we're going to do A1 and then high. Once you've done that, you can fly down to the bottom, somewhere near the bottom, below the bottom floor. Uh, so let's choose, uh, let's go up one, one block. So on top of here, this is going to be the lowest point players can get to before they lose the game. So now that we're up here, just change high to low and repeat the same command. So we can fill that back in and that has been saved for the arena A1. Once we've done that, we can fly all the way to the top, set a few spawns. So hop in here and do full slash dr, set spawn and A1. And that will set spawn 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, however many you want to set. So let's set 4, um, like this. Very straightforward. Next, we can edit the min and max players. This is very straightforward. So if you do forward slash dr, set min players for A1, and just choose an amount. So it's only me at the moment, so I'm going to choose 1. But obviously you could choose more. And you can do the same for max. There we go, max players is set to 4, and min players is 1. You can do a couple more things, such as set the author, description, and display name of the arena. So uh, we're going to do one of these really quickly. So full slash dr, set author, and obviously the author is me, because I just made it. So we're going to pop in my name right there. And that is how you set the author of the arena, very straightforward. Um, so you, you don't have to do these last three, um, that's just optional really, you don't have to set the spectator bounds, uh, but you could do, and you don't have to set the lobby bounds, but you could do if you wanted to. Uh, but walls work better for the, um, for the lobby as players obviously can't go through them. Uh, but we're going to set the spectator spawn uh, above the arena that we just set. Um, so all we need to do there is do forward slash dr set spec bounds for the arena A1, this is going to be the low bound, actually let's set it down a bit, there's low bound and the high bound is just going to be a bit higher, like this, very straightforward, and that's how you do it, so um, I believe those are most of the commands, there are only a couple more things we need to do, you could set uh, the arena to be VIP if you wanted to, uh, so that requires a permission to join, or we could... Um, just go ahead and save it. So let's go ahead and do that. DR save arena A1 and let's go ahead and enable it. So DR set enabled A1 uh, and then true. And that is how you create an arena. Once we're in the lobby you can pop down the sign, type death run on the top line and death run A1 or the arena name on the second line. And that is the arena created. So right click and we will join the arena in 30 seconds. So you can see there is classes, you can choose uh, between these two, which is pretty cool. There is the shop, so you can get more points for winning. Uh, you can give everyone a reward, or you can give only some people, such as yourself, or you could choose to leave the game. So it's starting in 10 seconds, you can see there is a nice scoreboard on the right, and there's a countdown along the XP bar. It's a really nice feature, and here we go. So we've been teleported into the arena, and it will start in 10 seconds. If you're not familiar with TNT Run, which uh, which would be surprising as, as it's very common and um, very popular, we have to run away from the TNT, which will be falling down below us as we run over it. 
So uh, as you can see, um, a few seconds after I step on a block, it will fall down to the ground. And if we go down to the next layer, we are closer to losing the game. So I'm going to quickly just uh, sum a few blocks. And this is the final layer. So once we get below, we will lose. And there we go. We've spawned in the spectator area. But as the game has ended, uh, we have been teleported back to the lobby. As you can see, there is some stats there that pop up, which is nice. We've lost twice. No kills, uh, two deaths, and zero KDR and zero points. So that is the plugin. Um, very, very fun, easy to set up, and uh, just, just an all-time classic. So subscribe, like, comment, and uh, there will be a new minigames video out very shortly.